Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Buttered Gaming. I'm Buttered Toast the Third, and as you can see I've got some uh, new magic cards to show off. Now, uh, I just went to kind of the semi-local card shop thing. It was more of an anime and games thing. But uh, I bought a couple things while I was there. And you'll notice I got some dice just for powers and stuff. Um, let's close that. Trying to open it up here. Oh, I just broke it. Nice. Oh well. It'll still close. Uh oh. Better uh open up this up a bit. There we go. We got kind of an assortment of dice. Let's see if the camera will pick up. <laughs> Alright. So they're kind of a nice purpley color. Uh, kind of a sparkly purpley color. I think they call it something like royal purple gold. Oh, it's too late. Okay, there we go. Royal purple gold. Alright, so those are those. And they will, I'll be using those as like counters and stuff. You know, all the usual dice thing. And then we've got this guy here. Now, uh, some of you, I'm sure, are going to recognize it. I didn't when I first saw it, because I've never actually been to a pre-release event. But this is kind of one of those things you get at a pre-release event. And I just, I saw it, and I kind of was like, ah, oh, you know what, I kind of think that's cool, and I'll just pay for it. So now i got to kind of figure out how i got to open it up. Oh, there it is. Um, got to open that up. I don't really have anything on me right now I can open it with. Alright, I'm back, and I got some scissors. Now, uh, most people like to use knives when they do this kind of stuff, but I have a knife upstairs I could use, but it's, it's all the way upstairs, so I was like, you know what, the scissors. Just uh, see if I can slice through this, maybe. Okay. Mm, evidently not. Oh, there we go. Um, well then, we'll get it eventually. Alright, let me just pop open this front section, and here we are. So it's the Path of Might. Now we'll go ahead and read this uh, thing we've got here. It says, Welcome, hero. You have chosen the path of might. On Theros, those who wish this, those who choose this path are empowered by the lush forest and the thrill to hunt. You are welcome in the city of Setasa, home to fierce warriors who draw their strength from the natural world. You may seek your destiny in the Nessian wood, an ancient expanse of trees that teems with hydras and giant animals. Perhaps you will journey into the wilderness and slay a cyclops, or hone your skills as a hunter in the wilds. You have devoted yourself to life, ferocity, and predator hunger. Seek the strength of the forest and all the power of nature will be yours. Oracle of the Chrysalis Grove. Alright, so. Then you can uh, see the deck archetypes. We've got uh, green, white, green, blue, green, black, green, red. Green, white decks and fancy creatures with lots of plus one, plus one counters. They're heroic. Creatures get plus one, plus one counters when targeted and become large quickly. By the time you reach the mid-game, your creatures will dominate the battlefield. A green-blue deck combines the Theros set. Strong green creatures will pro get powerful blue instants and sorceries. You can ramp up your mana to cast big creatures and card-drawing spells, or you can play aggressive creatures and get and through your opponent's defense with blue bounce spells. A black-green deck gets its advantage by using the graveyard. Death touch creatures and early blockers will help you trade with opposing creatures and fill up your graveyard. Later on, you'll be able to use creature, bring your creatures back from the dead with benefit from effects that reward you for having a full graveyard. A red-green Theros deck focuses on powerful, aggressive creatures and is likely to include creatures with monstrosity mechanic in its arsenal. You can attack early with efficient mid-sized creatures, or you can ramp your mana up to make your creatures monstrous. Alright, so there's that. Move these scissors. All right. So then we've got this. Uh, explore the world of Theros and begin your journey. Become a hero. So uh, you can test your Theros knowledge with a quiz and then check your answers with the tournament organizer. Um, each of these green creatures is ten ten or larger after it becomes monstrous. 
I don't know. I'm not gonna answer these questions because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna embarrass myself so the dad over there as well. Congratulations for bringing the spirit of card to a game day event to help you defeat the challenges. Um, so I can log into planeswalkerpoints.com with your DCI number to redeem this code to earn on Hero's Path achievements. Earn all nine Hero's Path achievements and gain entry into the Hall of Heroes. For details to earn this achievement, visit Redeem Hero's Path. Alright, so I guess somebody's probably going to use that. <laughs> it's a the Hunter Hero card. Uh, card from Planes of Wisdom. You can totally pick that up. Form a clan with this one. There's, uh, this actually has a die. There's a die in it as well, so that's nice that there are some die. I think I might even already have one of these somewhere. I don't even know. But there it is. So Let's see. Uh, what else do I have off to the side as well? I don't know what I'm going to do about that uh, code that I just showed you. So then we've got, this is probably the pack of, uh, oh, this is, a, this is a pack of cards. So we've got the foil, Planes Warriors 22nd of December 2013, Demon Warrior. I'm Thosa, a Tessan hero here. You're the legendary creature Demon Warrior. It's a heroic 4-5 for 5 drop. Whenever, for the heroic, whenever you cast a spell that targets this card, up to three target lands you control, this each become 2-2 two -two warrior creatures until end of turn. Let's go around. So we've got that, and then we've got um, some booster packs here. Oh boy, let's see if I can get them out. There's uh, three there, and I'm going to assume there's two there. So we've got five total plus this pack. I don't know what's in there. But uh, we'll go ahead and crack these open, see what's up. So, first of all, we're going to open this one. Uh, is that it? Okay. So we've got our... Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. So we've got our... Let's see if we can uh, pull this in closer here. There we go. Got our Enthusa, Satessan Hero. So I already kind of showed you that guy. We've got a Fade into Antiquity, three drop for an exiling target artifact or enchantment. And we've got a Mist Cutter Hydra. It cannot be countered. It adds haste and protection from blue. When it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, and it's an X uh, one drop. And then we've got a Destructive Revelry. It's a Red, green, destroy target artifact or enchantment with Gutsy Blade whenever it deals two damage to that opponent's controller. An ordeal of Nylia, which is a two drop to enchant a creature um, whenever it attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. When it has three or more, sacrifice ordeal of Nylia. When you sacrifice it, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them in the battlefield, tap them, and shuffle. We've got a Chronicler of Heroes, a three 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 drop. For when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. If you control a creature, there's a plus one, plus one counter on it. So we've got a Shredding Winds, which is a three drop for seven damage to target creature with flying. Last Breath, which is a two drop for exile target creature with power two or less. Its controller gains four life. An Omen Speaker, a two drop for a one three when it enters the battlefield, scry two. A Volt, a Voltine Goliath. Six drop for a six five trample. Boss's bounty, a six drop to draw three cards, put its top three cards into the library and visit the graveyard. Ooh, that'll be good in a different deck of mine even. We've got a cavern lamp head. I believe I do have another one of these, which is um, a four drop for a two two bestow six. Um, you can intimidate. It's it gives intimidate and if you change a creature, this plus two plus two and has intimidate. Nylia's Disciple, a 4 drop for a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life equal to your devotion to green. Not too bad. We've got a Titan Strength, a 1 drop for a target creature gets plus 3 plus 1 until end of turn, and you also get to scry one. We've got a March of the Return, 4 drop to return up to 2 target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. And you have a Savage Surge, a target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn, untap that creature. 
Okay, so there's that set. And then we can look at, I'm assuming this is like either not randomized at all or is semi-random, um, this set here. And then we've got our five packs to open up here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those. Oh boy. <laughs> Man, I'm having trouble getting this open. Okay, let's, there we go. Goodness, don't judge me. I got it open eventually. Alright, so maybe I'll just uh, look at maybe the rares or anything I could. I'll just go through the card names, and then if anything looks good, we can... Maybe I'll probably look in more in-depth at, like, the rarer that I get, maybe. Alright, so we've got our Lightning Strike. Uh, Fairies Band Centaur. Divine Verdict. Traveler's Amulet. I think we know. A Crowan Crusader. Um, a Returned Centaur. Riptide, Commune with the Gods, a Hopeful, I don't even know how to say that, Adalon, a Spark Jolt, a Magma Jet, a Witch's Eye, An insatiable harpy. And our rare Fire Drinker Seder. A one drop for a two one, and whenever it is dealt damage, deals that much damage to you. Hmm. That's interesting. And you can pay two to get plus one plus zero until end of turn and deals one damage to you. Well that seems kinda lame. And then we've got our band sent out soldier, so we'll just set that off to the side a little bit. Let me put this with our other cards we got. Alright, so we've got another free station open here. Let's see if we can open this one. There we got it. That was much easier than the last one. Alright, so we got a Stymied Hopes, an Ill Tempered Cyclops, a Leaf Crown Dryad. A Chosen by Heliod, a Wave Crash Triton, Ooh, I just dropped it, there we go, an Opaline Unicorn, that's actually not a bad card, Asphodel Wanderer, a Voyaging Satyr, a Titan's Strength, another Titan's Strength, we got one of those, and a Bayful, Baleful Adalon. <laughs> An Ordeal of Perforus. Another Witch's Eye. These are interesting. Triton Tactics. And our rare is a Tinneret the Murder King. Interesting. It's a black red 2 2. And you can pay one and a red to sacrifice another creature. It gets two damage to target player. Or you can pay a black and a colorless to sacrifice another creature. And you can return Timoret from your graveyard to your hand. That's not a bad card, actually. So then you've got a forest and a soldier card down. Alright, three more packs to go. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going down. So right on top, we've got a Cavalry Pegasus. I've actually seen that used to pretty great effect in a kind of a human enchantment deck that a friend of mine has. We've got a Loathsome Cataplabus. That's a weird word. A 
we've got a Nylia's Presence. We've got a Fleet Feather Sandals. A Disciple of Fenex. Array of Dissolution. A Benthic Giant. A Time to Feed. A Another Baleful Eidolon. A Traveling Philosopher. A Burnished Heart. I've got one of those in a, another deck of mine. A Seder Piper. Ooh, I forgot to do my cards. A Thassa's Emissary. And our rare is a Gift of Immortality. It's a redrop to enchant a creature. When it dies, we can return that card under to the battlefield under its owner's control. Return Gift of Immortality to the battlefield to cast that creature at the beginning of the next end step. Feed. That's cool. I like that card. That is a nice card. And then we've got a Plains and a Soldier. White Soldier this time. Alrighty. Two more packs to go. Second to last one right here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Kind of. Kind of. And we've got a bronze sable. Messenger's speed. A mnemonic wall. Another cavalry pegasus. Protessing Griffin. A Disciple of Fenex. I feel like I might have got one of those earlier, but I can't remember. Oh well. A Neural. A Wing Steed Rider. A Wild Celebrant. A Two Headed Cerberus. Artisan's Sorrow, Peliad's Emissary, a Spellheart Chimera, a friend of mine has a deck that he uses those to create effects in, and our rare is a Mist Cutter Hydra, so we got another one of those. We had one of those in the semi-random or the non-random, whatever that was. And then we've got a forest and a soldier. All right. Last pack to crack open right here. Get it out of the way. And here we go. Uh oh. Let's see what we can do. So let's look at what we've got. We've got a Nessian Courser, a Lash of the Whip, a Minotaur Skull Cleaver, a Chosen by Heliod, another Traveler's Amulet, a Shredding Winds, another Volpine Goliath, Another Asphodel Wanderer, Voyaging Seder, another Titan Strength, another Ordeal of Perforus, a Fanatic Mogus, an Ordeal of Nylia, well, that's very strange looking, I got one of these earlier but I didn't really look at the art. She's like, she's like lifting up the eye. That's weird. I don't know. Whatever. All right, we've got a rare is a Titan of Eternal Fire. Each human creature you control has half a mountain and then tap this card and this creature deals one damage to target creature or player. So that's good for humans. And it's a six drop for five, six. So not bad. And then we've got a mountain and another soldier token. My goodness. 
Alright, so that's it for this video, really. I just wanted to show you me opening that up. We got quite a nice haul of cards right here. Holy cow, that's uh, quite a few cards, actually. But, um, so there's that. Got our nice foil on Thosa there. Ooh, hold on. There we go. And this was our... of might back here. I might use this graphic somewhere in the you know, in the custom thumbnail or the overlay or something. We'll see. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was pretty fun. Um, let me know what you think of the color of my new dice here. They're pretty trippy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's weird. Alright, so, <laughs> I'll get out of here now. Thank you very much for watching, and hope you come again next time. Hope you liked the video. If you did, you can click on the previous general upload to see a Minecraft free player right here. Or you can click on the previous general upload to see me open up a, um, a Magic the Gathering loot box.